All right, Doug, this is a late 30s woman. She had a gastric bypass and lost 120 pounds. And now she's, her weight is stabilized. Um, and she comes in complaining about all this stuff. All, mm -hmm. you know, that's her only complaint, too much stuff here. Mm -hmm. So the abdominoplasty in the mass of weight loss patient is clearly different than the typical postpartum patient. How would you approach this? Would you approach it differently? Well, first of all, I'd see the patient, and we'd identify what her desires, what her, what her needs are, and we'd review her medical history, and then we'd sort of make design a plan based around, on that. When I look at this patient, first of all, con I always congratulate the patient on losing the weight. However they did that, fantastic. I'm happy for them, and I'm happy for their new transformation, where they're going to have a nicer, more athletic figure, and they're going to feel better about their lives and better about their workout and better about the diet for the rest of their lives. So that's number one, so congratulations for that. Number two, from a, from a surgical standpoint, I guess we have excess skin um, and maybe have a little bit of fat left over. What, what we have for her, it looks like, is we have laxity in two dimensions. We have in a vertical dimension and a horizontal dimension. So patients forget that. They, for, they think it just all goes this way and it's a tummy tuck, it all comes down. But I suspect that we're talking about a horizontal excess excision, a vertical excess excision, maybe taking some of those good cells, putting it into the buttocks or the breast. Maybe you did an augpex, or maybe just a breast lift or an augpexy, and I'm sure you did just a fantastic uh, job with it and have a superior result. I agree with many of the things you said. Um, my approach to these patients is try to treat them like any other abdominoplasty patient. Even though they're a different set of considerations, you have to make your aesthetic goal along the lines of what you would expect for your typical postpartum patient. With these weight loss patients, you have to take into account how much stuff you have to remove. You have to remove, even though she's lost 120 pounds, you, there's a lot of fat there. There's a lot of skin. There's probably more skin than you even realize in both the vertical and the horizontal uh, dimensions. Even though she's never had kids, when she was 120 pounds, the visceral fat has stretched out her fascia, so she is going to need multiplication. But once you all do that, what you have left to make your tummy tuck is what we call the flap, the upper skin, the skin that's left. And you can see from her picture, even after you remove all the stuff, the upper skin is going to be uh, tethered, uh, multiply redundant, and not smooth, so you have to rehabilitate that upper flap. And the way to do that is with a subscarpus lipectomy. You have to trim the fat and release all the tethering from be beneath the scarpus fascia, which can be done with minimal disruption of the blood supply. So this particular patient, um, she's eventually going to need something done to her back, uh, but that was not done the first time. She also had just a mastopexy and a slight uh, reduction on the one side. Um, but again, you can see the scars come up way high laterally, and that's where the transverse laxity is taken, taken out. It looks fantastic. That's just a beautiful result, so congratulations. Thanks. Thanks.